All right, welcome back coding fans. We're gonna use this one as kind of a playground and we are gonna make a castle out of our generating a landscape. All right, so if uh, you haven't done generate a landscape yet, you can go back to the previous video. Um, but other than that, let's go ahead and get started. As I said in the previous video, I want this index to be after let all coordinates. So I'm gonna cut that, I'm gonna paste this Next to our index, um, I'm gonna get a free line of code right here. Let me get the variable next to it, because uh, those two, I think, go together. So let all coordinates equal world.all possible coordinates, as we usually have. Um, and like I said, let's say we are in the middle of coding something down here in world creation and we decide we want to use generate a landscape. Chances are all let all coordinates is already in that code. Um, or if this is where you want to start, you can copy and paste the whole thing and then augment anything in here. All right. So um, we are going to go ahead and deal with our heights. So when I think castle, I think... Um, alternating kind of like up and down. Um, so for my index, it's going to be, or my heights, it's going to be pretty simple. Um, it's going to go five comma four. And we'll see what this looks like, looks like pretty quickly. All right. But what I need to do is with a castle, it's hollow in the middle. So I just want to deal with row zero. So the bottom row, column zero, row eight and column eight. So that's, those are the only places I want to code or I want my castle walls to go, which is gonna be this four coordinate, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead after this index, this is where I'm gonna designate my rows and columns. So this is a let. Um, so we're doing this because we don't want these to change. We want row zero to be row zero. So we're gonna call this row zero, okay? And that's the bottom row. And that is going to be world dot, and now we're gonna get this, and we're gonna say, okay, this is gonna be world dot row, and it's going to be row zero. Okay, and we do the same thing with uh, column zero, C O L U M N zero, and that's going to be world dot column zero, column zero, and then we can do the same thing. So I'm going to select, I'm going to copy and paste these, copy both of those, and we're going to paste those. We'll get some errors. And I'm gonna change row zero to row eight. And then don't forget to change the zero here to row eight. All right, and column zero is now gonna be column eight. And we're gonna change that here for some reason. Uh, it's not let me do that. Nope, I want it to be column eight. All right, so I've got let row zero equal world dot row zero. The column zero equal world dot column zero, row eight equal world dot column, world dot row eight, and then column. So row goes with row and column goes with column. Row goes with row, column goes with column. So make sure we got that right before we move on. Okay, so we have our alternating, we have stuff. So for coordinate in all coordinates, we're gonna switch that up because I don't want this to go in all coordinates. I just want this to go in row zero. So instead of four coordinate in all coordinates, four coordinates in row zero. Right, and we're gonna do exactly the same thing we did in generate a landscape. So this resets our height index, so it'll go five, four, five, four, five, four. Okay, we need to put in our heights index. So heights, and then we need our braces to tell us where we are in our heights array. Um, and our index tells us where that is. And we're going to world.placeplot. And we don't need a direction. So it's just place capital block, uh, which might take a little bit to find, capital block with parentheses behind it at lowercase coordinate. And then we have to increment our index 
don't forget this. This is the thing I forget most often. Index plus equals. Uh, you can use plus equals or you can wait for it to pop up. One. All right, we run our code here and we should get, all right, let's spit it up. All right, so here we are here, which is pretty nice. All right, so it goes five, four, five, four, five, four, five, four, five. Now, how we code from here depends on how you think. Um, because I want my next, the next one is going to be four. So theoretically, we could do one of three things, if not more. But the things that I think of is either we have another height and another index where it goes four, five. So there goes, after this, will be four, five, four, five, four, five. Or we can put this on the back, um, five, four, five, four, but we would have to reset the index. So the way I think it looks good is go here. So we'll go column zero next. And we'll show you that there's a, a little problem that we're gonna have, um, but we'll show you the trick to it. So I'm gonna copy and paste this for loop. So we're just gonna reuse that. Copy. And we're gonna come down here and we're gonna paste right here. Um, and you're gonna notice that it starts getting a little bit um, complicated. So to keep track of these, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and comment in right now. And I'm gonna say this is comment, comment, uh, front wall. Okay. And then down here on the next one, I'm going to hit return and I'm going to pull down twice on the C to get comment. And we're going to call this left wall. And this is just so that we can more easily see what it is we're doing. So the left wall is column zero. So we're going to change row zero to column zero which is right here. And it's kind of that simple, but you'll notice immediately that we, well, almost immediately, once it starts building, we're gonna have a little issue. All right, and that issue is, well, it's gonna place it here, and we get this really tall pillar, and it ends at the wrong space, right? I want this one to be my tallest, and that's a four. Um, so what I need to do is shift this over one, or up one, I should say. Right, uh, this pillar's here because it's building five here for col uh, for row zero, and then four here for column zero. So what we need to do is kind of shorten this a little bit, okay? And because I want that one to be four, I need to start right here on row one. So I'm going to get a free line of code right here in front of our if index e double equals heights, okay? And I'm going to put another if statement here. And I'm going to constrain this from row one to row seven. So if coordinate dot column is, and we want it between one and seven. So coordinate column is greater than or equal to, greater than or equal to one. Double and, that's a dollar sign, double and coordinate dot column, nope, dot row. These need to be rows, I'm sorry. Coordinate dot row is greater than one and coordinate dot row is gonna be less than or equal to seven, all right? So this is gonna make it so that it only goes from row to set, from row one to seven inside column zero. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna pull this all the way down and it looks like the index right there is not captured, but when we let go, you'll notice that it is captured. So if I rerun this, it will do everything we want it to only from row one to row seven. All right, so four, five, four, five, four, five or excuse me, five, four, five, four, five, four, five, four, five, four, five, four, five, four. So the next one's five. And I want this one to be five. And it, so zero, eight. So we're gonna go with row eight next. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get everything for the front wall. And I'm just gonna move that to the back wall. So I'm gonna copy that. We're gonna come down here to the bottom. I'm gonna get a couple free lines of code. 
I'm gonna paste this here. So I need to change the front wall to the back wall. So we call it back. So the back wall of our castle is gonna be row eight. So all I need to do is change this to row eight. And then the left wall, or then the right wall is gonna be the same as the left wall. So I can select left wall, everything in the left wall. I can copy that and I can paste that down here at the bottom, paste. Okay, and the left wall, or excuse me, the right wall, R-I-G-H-T, the right wall is this column over here, which is column eight. So now if I run this, I have a castle with walls and they alternate the way that I think anyway that it should. And this is a great way to kind of mess with our code. It shows how this heights array thing can be easily used. Um, there we go. And now we have a castle for our whatever. And we can put somebody inside and we'll play with this. Anyway, um, you know, this isn't part of the curriculum for this, but it does allow us to uh, show our creativity and show how we can augment this stuff. And you'll see, as you saw, I guess, all we needed was the front wall and the left wall. And then from there, the back wall and the, and the right wall just kind of fell into place. Um, so great code, uh, great way to code all in one row or all in one column with certain constraints and all sorts of stuff. I hope you had fun playing with this and uh, see what else you can do using it. All right, guys, catch you on the next one. Love you. Bye.